These two rows of data are enough to teach you a few commonly used text formulas and a couple of techniques that help you later. The aim is to remove the Mrs. and Mr. prefixes from the names. We have two columns to show two different methods. The substitute function that we will use first simply replaces a specified text string inside another text string. So I reference to the cell that includes the whole text. Then I ask the formula to find a character string mr space. And finally, I want to substitute that with an empty string. The last argument is optional and it defaults to 1. It's ok for us as we are looking for the first occurrence. The autofill feature automatically fills the column. On the second row, the formula obviously didn't find any mr space strings from the name and thus left it untouched. It's a bad practice to compose a new formula for every situation. So let's fix the existing one to work in both cases. We will nest another substitute function so that the first formula will be the first argument in the second formula. Cut the formula to the clipboard and start typing a new substitute function. At this point let's open the formula dialog box from the fx button. Now you can paste the original formula here as an argument. In the second substitute we want to substitute the string mrs.space. And the substitution text will be nothing. Here you see that the answer will be Mary Jones which means that the formula works. Click OK to exit. If you got lost there's a handy evaluate formula tool to show the calculation steps one at a time. We are now evaluating the active cell. The first click retrieves the text string from the cell reference. The second click evaluates the inner substitute formula which won't make any difference as the string hasn't any Mr. text to substitute. The second substitute function removes the Mrs. prefix from the name. Now a single formula can take care of these both names, but it's still not very general purpose. Maybe we only know that there is some kind of prefix in front of each name. Let's make a formula that removes any text before the first space. This text is 22 characters long and the first space is the third letter from the beginning. With this information I can take advantage of a mid formula that captures specified number of characters starting from the position I choose. The first argument is the text to be manipulated. We want to start one position after the first space which is the capitalized letter J. And the number of characters to retrieve is the total length minus the position of the first space. Here are the results. This formula doesn't work for the second row because the first space is not the third letter and the text length is different. I replace the number 22 with a len function which returns the number of characters in the selected string. Still wrong. Let's also replace the number 3s with a formula that finds the position of the first space. For this we use the find function. First you type which character you are looking for and then where are you looking it from. The start number argument is optional and defaults to 1. Copy and paste the formula to replace the other number 3 as well. Again you could take the evaluate the formula tool to show step by step execution. Often it's easiest to start your formulas the dumb way like we did and make them more complex in small chunks.